Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I've got quite a few bits to share with you. It is mainly beauty based, I will admit. There's only a couple of um, fashion items, but yeah, beauty's been a kind of big thing lately. I've been trying all sorts of new bits and bobs and really loving them, so I thought I'd share with you what I have got. So I'm just going to get started. So the first lot of stuff is from Charlotte Tilbury and I was kindly sent some bits and I'm so excited about them. Um, I've been wanting to try Charlotte Tilbury for so long. Um, so these are the bits that I got. So either they knew what I was, the kind of things I was into at the moment, the kind of colours, or they just kind of sent me best sellers. Either way, they're spot on and they are the kind of products that I would have picked out myself so that's really cool and um, the first thing is a Charlotte Tilbury lip cheat which is a lip pencil in the shade uh, pillow talk which is a really gorgeous um, brownie nude as you guys know I'm into my brownie nude lip liners at the moment I'm into lip liners in general and I'm thinking about doing a lip liner video of my favorite current lip liners so let me know if you'd be interested in that by uh, thumbsing this video up and then I know that you'll want to see it. Um, so yeah, this is a gorgeous um, lip liner, perfect base for any kind of um, nude lipstick to pop over the top. Um, the quality is great, it glides on really easily, um, really smooth and creamy, so I'm loving that. Next up is the Charlotte Tilbury Beach Stick, which is a lip to cheek dewy colour pop and it's in the shade Moon Beach. Um, kind of reminds me of the NARS multiples um, but the packaging in all of this is just so beautiful rose gold it's just amazing yeah you can twist this up and down um, and it's just looks amazing on the cheeks I've actually got it on today um, it just gives like a really gorgeous flush of colour um, but with a dewy kind of highlight to it um, just all the way up the cheekbone and on the apple of the cheek it looks so beautiful um, and I absolutely love that. So up next we have a lipstick in the shade Bitch Perfect. Um, the absolute perfect nude. <laughs> How did they know? This goes perfectly with the Pillow Talk lip liner. Um, it's just kind of a brownie nude with a slight hint of pink to it. Um, it's not a matte finish. It has a kind of sheen finish to it. Um, but I absolutely love it. It's so pretty. And so the next lip... And so the next lip... And so the next lipstick that I received was one that I had nearly bought myself a couple of weeks back and I'm just so happy they sent me it. Um, it's Glastonbury, um, which is a matte lipstick and I saw loads of bloggers with this and I was like, I need to get it. This gorgeous deep purple um, kind of berry colour and it just looks so pretty. So I'm so happy that I got that. There's quite a few other matte lipsticks from Charlotte Tilbury that I want to try but I'm glad that I have one to start off with so absolutely love that I'm so happy with all of these products um, I think they're definitely worth taking the plunge if you want to give them a try and I'm such a big fan of Charlotte in general I just love her so the other day I was about to make an order on the Kiko website um, because I wanted to try a bunch of their lip liners and then I realized it had to spend 25 pounds or over to get um, delivery so I was kind of like mm. so I put it off and when I went to Cambridge the other day there was a Kiko shop and I was like oh um, so I ran in and picked up five of the smart lip pencils which were like £2.50 each, it's insane. Literally all of these came to like the price of one MAC lip liner. So the first shade is um, 712 um, which is a gorgeous um, kind of pink nude which is very similar to MAC's saw lip liner. I then got 708 which is a bright pink. I thought this would go really nicely underneath um, MAC's flat out fabulous lipstick. I then got 703 which is kind of like a ready brown tone, 702 which is a really pretty pink um, coral shade and then I got 704 which is a really brown toned nude um, so I absolutely love these. For the price they're just brilliant like they sharpen well and they apply well they're not breaking off or anything like that. So if you ever get the opportunity to try anything from Kiko def definitely recommend it. I really want to try their um, kind of creamy lip liners as well. Thumbs up for Kiko. If you have any recommendations for any of the Kiko products, let me know down below, please, because I would love to try some more. So we ordered a couple of bits from um, MAC, and I got MAC's Saw Lip Liner, even though I've basically got a dupe now. This came back in stock online, so I grabbed it as soon as I saw it. It might still be online if any of you want to try it, but this is 
the one that Kylie Jenner supposedly used, um, but it is beautiful. It looks really gorgeous on. So I absolutely love that. And um, then I saw that the Nasty Girl range was online for MAC. Uh, they bought out three different lipsticks. The company Nasty Girl worked with MAC. Bought out three different matte lipsticks. I think it's Gunner, Runner and something else that ends in Anna. Let me find out. Okay, it's Runner, Gunner and Stunner. And I picked up Runner and I absolutely love it. I'm actually wearing it now. It, I thought it was quite similar to depth at first, but it's it's really not. It's more berry toned, um, and it's a matte shade, so I just had to grab it. I think they're limited edition. It might even be sold out now online, which is really annoying because I'm like shoving it in your face, but, but it might still be available, um, and I absolutely love it. I'm obsessed with it. Looks really gorgeous with a smoky brown eye as well. So I'm so happy with these two, and it's nice to treat yourself once in a while. So you guys probably know by now that I'm obsessed with Max Top uh, Max. Topshop's Glow Highlighter, um, it's just the most gorgeous highlighter and I came across All Over Glow in Topshop the other day and I just had to grab it. So it's an all over face um, illuminator, it's in liquid form um, and it's just perfect to pop on over your moisturiser and then put your foundation over the top to give your skin a gorgeous flawless glow if you like um, kind of glowing illuminating skin. So this is one to pick up and it's only £10 so really affordable. Um, if you don't want to grab anything that's too high end. I always forget to drink my tea when I'm filming. And then it goes cold. So next door, as I mentioned last time, are making so much noise. Can you hear that? Radio blaring. Fiddling. So I got a couple of things to try out from By Terry and I haven't actually um, properly given this one a go yet but it is the Perfecting Fluid Foundation which says Ultra Correcting Coverage. They're doing that on purpose I think. Just to piss me off. And then I also got the By Terry Touch Expert Ultra Radiance Active Concealer. These are long titles um, which is very similar to uh, Prep and Prime from MAC, but um, more of a concealer. I've been trying this, I absolutely love it. It's really gorgeous. Um, fairly light coverage actually, it's not as heavy as the Prep and Prime, um, but nonetheless I really like it. And the packaging is just gorgeous. Um, it's so soft and purple and just nice. So um, loving those two, I'll let you know how I get on with that. So I think that is it for beauty um, actually. That is everything, and I'm just going to move on to a couple of clothing bits that I've got. So the first is this navy window pane print uh, roll neck jumper, and I absolutely love it. It is slightly more cropped than I thought, so I might have to buy kind of a high-waisted skirt to um, wear with it, but I absolutely love it. People have asked me if it's itchy, because I've seen it in a couple of my videos. It's not itchy at all. It's really um, quite warm and snug, it's nice and tight-fitting, and I absolutely love it. It's also available in a few different colours, so I'll leave the link to that down below. That's from She Inside, by the way, and also from She Inside, I got this um, black diamond cut kind of bomber jacket, and I absolutely love it. Been wanting a bomber for so long. Um, I really love how the inside is orange, like the kind of old school 90s bomber jackets, and it's also a really nice length. It kind of comes up to my hips, which is what I like. I don't kind of like cropped jackets very much, so um, I absolutely love this. So I think that's everything guys, I really hope you liked what I had to show you. As always I'll link everything down below, I'm going to go because this guy is doing my head in. I'm really sorry about the noise. Seriously, just let me finish my video bro. I'm going to go before it gets too loud. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and be sure to follow me on all my social, social media. All my social media platform things, I'll link them all down below. Have a great day guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Okay, so I've already done my skin and my eyebrows just because I feel like I've shown that quite a lot of times in videos and it gets quite boring to watch.